miss is appreciation and communication. And people misunderstand if somebody would say, and you have to say that to yourself, step up, but don't follow my order. I'm not ordering the individual to step into their power. Step up is an affirmation to your highest aspect to understand you have to step into your role. What I see is what I want to talk about. Let's begin with the mothers, the nurturers, those that brought us into this world, those that carried us for months those that protected us with the best of their abilities to bring us here. That's why we're here, that's why we communicate. Thanks to the mothers, to the mother goddess, always. I think a Chinese proverb says, the backbone of a man is determined by his mother. So depending on how you were raised and how you were treated as a kid, that's how you come into this world. And all those students of life are out there. And your parents finance your studies. They support your ways, buy your new car, cover your insurance, help you where they can to make sure that you can live life to the fullest of your potential. Show appreciation to them. Write a letter or make a video and let them know that you do appreciate what they are doing for you. With generated energy and hard labor, they're giving you their funds so you can be on your way and have fun. Consideration of your environment. Simple things like the garbage in front of your house. Don't expect the garbage man to be there every day to pick up your trash. We are in a careless society and we blame the government blame the FBI, we blame the CIA, we blame everybody else. You know what I'm saying here is we have to cut the crap hola and start blaming ourselves for not paying attention to ourselves, for being careless. Like I don't care. I got water in my house, electricity is running. Do you ever care who produces that? What are they doing to produce that, to provide for you so that you can live that service? Are this working for you? But you want to point the finger, oh, slave system here, slave system there. Well, we perpetuate that because we don't care. I am not perfect myself. I'm trying to, not trying, actually I'm recalibrating as we speak to make that known that we care about another. You know, people have cars, homes, everything paid for, but yet they have problems because they don't have self-love or self-acceptance. Love yourself. Accept yourself for who you are. Don't try to live somebody else's life. Create and live your life. You are here to build upon your reality, your future, your create. And very important, for as long as you depend on others to get what you want and you're not satisfied. What does that mean? You are connected to an umbilical cord of energetic exchange to your parents or friends. There has to be a time where you have to cut the umbilical cord, stand on your own two feet and be independent and generate income for your own. Don't fall back all the time to where you can get money because it's given to you. Care about every time it is generated. So I say appreciate your parents, your father, your mother. Don't blame them the way they raised you. They didn't know any better. Forever, for whatever fears they have given to you, they didn't know any better because these are the fears that were given to them by their parents and their parents' parents. And we have to understand as in creating that we care about one another, we do not perpetuate the cycle 
of that codependence thing. It's basically um, we have created a slave system amongst ourselves because we didn't know any better. Forgive yourself for not knowing. Look at yourself. Do you like the way you look? Do you appreciate your vessel? Do you think you're overweight? Do you think you're underweight? Do you feel you're overweight? Do you feel you're underweight? Really ask yourself and check yourself. Are you in a healthy mind state? Is your body in a healthy mind state? Your higher self knows. Everybody else knows. And every now and then, send your mom some flowers and let her know that you appreciate her and her love. Find something for your dad, something personal, as in giving gifts. Try to do your best when you go to a birthday party to give a gift which is not superficial, which I see what we do. Go to a store, buy some perfume, please wrap, pack that up for me, and you don't put, have any input except your money and the service that you receive. That is not being deep. Being deep is, I care about what I want to give to you. I want to individualize that, what I want to give to you. Intra-visualize that. Personalize the energy that I'm giving to you because I care. And then again, I'm not your guru. I'm not your leader. I'm your server. I'm the intra-connection of your subconscious mind, bridging that what's missing. Hoping you receive my word and or words and reflect on what I'm relaying in this message. Working my craft so that I may not repeat myself over and over again. What's said is said, what's done is done. Be mindful of your action. It has a consequence, cause and effect. It's not like you hit the button on your computer and it's undo. Be in the doing and in the now. And those that want to find their purpose in this essential process. There's, again, a difference between the dreamer and the doer. And there will be a separation and there will be a frustration. If you're just in your dream state and you dream about worlds never to come and you think it's going to happen anyway and you're in for a ride and it's going to be handed to you freely, you are mistaken. You have to work for it as you worked for it to come here. As you worked on other planets, you may or may not remember that. You've been a priest, a priestess, a goddess, a scientist, um, a gatekeeper, a stargate establisher, a grid keeper, a grid worker, a portal personnel, whatever job application you might you may find out there, many planets. You all worked. Why? Because you're here. This is the working plan. You wake up, you punch into this reality, you are in service for this reality, and then ask yourself, what are you doing? I can say for myself, I'm not the type of person that runs to demonstrations. I don't want to see people get arrested or people be in danger. The crowd has to speak up. If there's misunderstandings or miscommunication, there has to be shown that there's clear communication. And you can't wait for the government to help you to fix your mortgage or pay whatever you have to pay. You control what you do, how you bring it to yourself, how you invent and co-create, because you're a co-creator. You're a programmer. You're not a program. If you're a program, you're run by subroutines that you have learned and picked up because you didn't know any better, but you're not in knowingness. You have to be in knowingness to know what you're doing. And it's not an easy task, and I know it's hard. You have to become aware of where you are and who you are and when you are, and that constant, that means to be conscious and that constant. When you walk into people's space, I'm 
Miss Tattoo. Ask permission if you may enter their space. Their space is their temple. Their living room is their sacred space. There's a temple. You know how it was in the ancient times? You did not just walk up to the Holy of Holiest, which was the temple. You did not just pick up artifacts and play around with them and think you are a Jedi Master when you're not. A lot of people run around and claim that they're Samurai Masters and yeah, give me the sword and I can handle it and I see them dropping their swords. If you're not a Master, there's nothing bad about it. You want to become a Master, you can attain that by gaining the experience in the physical for going about learning that and practice. You can read all the books about surfing or diving and have all the theories and all the breakdowns and know all, all what all the great ones did and be able to quote them but you know what I'm saying is stop quoting others quote yourself spreading quotes no problem but don't be a copy paste society copy paste copy paste copy paste create your own reality right now you're giving a great opportunity after 26,765 years, you can create whatever you want. Can you imagine it? Whatever you want, you can create. I appreciate the listener. I appreciate the criticism. It helps me to realign me to be on my path. It won't stop me from being creative. I love creating unique things. Um, that bring energy to this world and novelty to this world. I like working with the light away from electricity, bring light into this world. I'm working on manifesting the dream to build the first city of light. Buildings, domes, muscle type shaped, wind directed channels, waterways, an Atlantean construct, Lemurian construct, you know, crystalline structures, enlightened cities that you will be enlightened living in them. You will be clear living in them. As you enter the gates, you will have to clear coming in to the full conscious concept of appreciation of who you are and realizing why you are. I want to create a rainbow city, but not just a farmhouse or some idea, just clay domes, colorful domes, rainbow colors. We are the master builders, and I came here to do what I did before, to master, build, and create, and bring light here, and lead by example, or serve by example. So people come here and say, this place is wonderful, a spiritual Disney world, but not elusive, the real deal, where angels would gather, where elves would come, gnomes, fairy beings and pixies would gather and dance around crystalline lights because they love the energy that we emit, out of love we create, and anybody that will be with the task, helping me, helping us, being in the light, being a team light, the entire world is a team light. This is light. We work in the light. Darkness is void of knowledge. Light is knowing. Once you have the awareness, you know what you will do. You know what your path will be. You know the direction that you will go. Because you have knowledge. You are in the knowledge. So there's no excuse, oh, I didn't know. Awareness is knowing. To be aware. And I'm convinced that the magic will take place here. I'm convinced that the city of light will be built. Many prophecies predicted that there will be many cities of light on grid points bringing the planet back online. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago, as far as my memory reaches, I begged the High Council to let us establish something to bring this planet back because for it is a great thing to create this and bring that forth and millions have a choice to be with us I don't care what race you are you're here right now you're listening to me right now are you bitching and complaining and destroying and disabling people for coming into novelty you know how hard it is and how many lifetimes we got killed for our ideas 
but yet we came back. Still, we promote the knowledge and people have death threats. Others say if it would be their way, all would be killed. We have to end the violence. End this, I hate you because you. You know what? I love you because of you. And everybody on YouTube that has something to say that is creative, it'll be evident at the end of day. Jesus said it. Pakal Voltan said it. Viracocha said it. All the holy ones. Buddha said it. You will see the real ones by what they will bring forth. By their fruits, the seeds are planted and what fruits they will bear. And there will be a great difference. I do not channel. I access my own archive. There's no allowance for any being to speak through me because I am my own being. I am whole. I am with my higher self. I connect to my higher self. I don't even talk to aspects. All has to be integrated. All has to be one line, one light. And I'm downloading myself into myself, becoming intergalactic because that's where we come from and that's where we will go. And this will be fun times. This will be creative times. This will be a powerful moment for all to witness, for all to be in love, unconditional. Meaning even the old paradigm of what you think, believe a relationship is, it will be recreated. We're holding on to all that we know because we don't know any better. Trust me, you will be in for a gentle, gigantic, superior, phantasmagorical, super surprise. Thus creating love in a new way. And trust that this will take place according to the source. Don't make it God. Don't make it female. Don't make it male. The source is what it is. For I am that I am. This has no script. This is clear. This is the translation. These are the light codes I'm transmitting to you as you're looking at my vessel. Speaking clearly. I don't need to be in trance. I don't need to call myself this and that. I am Ra, for I was Ra, I will be Ra, and I am Ra right now. Past, present, and future combined into one. I always was, will be. There's no difference. We are infinite light beings. But once we realize how powerful we are, how creative we are, then the magic can take place. Then the magic can move in and show us the way that this is how you want to do it. This is how you want to create your life. So with this, I say, live to create. And I love you all very, very much. Namaste. In La Kench.